to another episode of Japan in the Pacific Northwest. Konnichiwa. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, this is my show. What are you doing? Hey! Hey, peeps. So this is Anime Hipster Rocky taking over Rachel's channel. Well, she's a good, doing an awesome job, but... I thought I'd give her a boost and do some awesome reviews on ep new and recent anime that are sick and non-mainstream. I mean, a few are mainstream, but that's only because they're so awesome that they're just popular. And sadly, they're popular. So, yeah. This is Anime Hipster's review with a Bishonen bias. And I'm going to be telling you the 2016 review by an anime hipster for spring 2016. So number one on my list is called Joker's Game. <laughs> and this one I'm giving five stars to because it has a very dynamic and non-mainstream storyline. It's about um, six or seven Japanese spies and their very interesting ways in getting into infiltrating other countries during World War II. It's very interesting, intriguing, and dynamic, and slightly dark. So it's a very good anime. You should check it out. Next one's very cute. The second one is called Tanaka-kun wa Itsumo Keidaruge, or Tanaka-kun is always sleepy or listless. So I'm giving this one five stars. It's about a lazy boy who sleeps a lot in class and his ex-Yankee friend who carries him around. It's quite hilarious and I rarely laugh. And this one makes me laugh. It has almost every single stereotypical anime character in it. And it's based off of a shoujo manga. If you don't know what a shoujo manga, that's a manga for girls. Um, and that one I'm also giving five stars because of how hilarious it is. And the third one on my list is definitely a mainstream and became very popular. However, it has a very dynamic storyline. This one's called Sakamoto Desunga. It's quite hilarious. And I'm giving this one four and a half stars, only because it became com somewhat mainstream, and that was depressing. So, um, that one's called Sakamoto Kundesunga. I kind of really liked the intro. It was quite hilarious. And that one's based off of a seinen manga, or adult male manga. And then the fourth one on my list is called Niji Iro Days. And this one's about four boys and their cutesy romance stories. It's based off a shoujo manga, so obviously it's going to be cute because most shoujo manga are cute. So watch it. Check it out if you like the cute shoujo anime. Um, the next one is called Shonen Maid. And this one I'm giving... And this one I'm giving three and a half stars to because it's kind of cutesy and mainstream, and I only liked it because it was cutesy, and it had Bishonen in it. So, that one's three and a half stars. Very cute. I kind of like the interplay between the different characters and the family, and how it gives you a view into the rich family's conceit and dynamics and such. And it's very shocking that a kid would be so much into cleaning. And then the fifth one is kind of mainstream. It's called Bungo Stray Dogs. It's kind of typical anime in that it has like slapstick, kind of cartoony kind of elements to it. But it also has a very dynamic storyline that makes up for that cheesiness. So, so that one I'm giving three and a half stars to. And that's the last one that I actually like this whole season. I'm very picky, 
but I have a Bishonen bias with most of the anime that I'm into. Thanks for watching the Anime Hipsters Review with a Bishonen bias. And if you want to see more sick anime hipster reviews with a Bishonen bias, please subscribe to this channel so that you can see upcoming anime hipsters reviews with a Bishonen bias for next season, which is summer 2016. Peace out all my peeps out there. Bye.